Echo 25, code blue. Police say they don't have the evidence to connect you. Looks like you're moving again, Vanessa. Now, it wasn't easy getting a placement on such short notice. Fairview Heights. Great. Some rich guy to stick his hands in my pants. Yeah, well, we're running out of places to put you. There's only so much this department can do to protect a ward of the state. Fine. Why? Why do I have to sign that? Well, you don't. You can stay at the safe house. In six months, you'll be 18 and no longer my responsibility. And then you can do what you want. better when you're back in the swing of things, babe. You'll feel better. Oh, hey, hey. What? Don't forget this. All charged and ready to go. I'm a jerk. I don't know what I would do without you. Probably just download another mom off the internet. Now get going. How's the book coming? It's not. Steve asked me for a divorce. Get out. Huh. He's marrying the cheerleader. She's not a cheerleader. <laughs> she's 26, but according to Steve, she's one of his best reporters. <laughs> Has she ever seen him drunk? I don't know. I don't care. I haven't told Chris yet. He keeps hoping that we're gonna get back together. Does the skill know he's been depressed? He doesn't want him to know, so I said he has mono. I don't know. I mean, he's gotta go back or he's gonna fail his junior year. And I can't keep making excuses, missing deadlines. Of course not, honey. You know, you need to start spending time on yourself. Teenage love's a killer. But we lived through it. And speaking of getting through it. No. Yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. I love you, Lenny, but I'm not going <laughs> to troll cougar bars with you. <laughs> My luck, I'd meet some wacko. Hey, I don't troll. I prowl. Attention all girls interested in playing club across the semester. Oh, 
25 school homicides in one year. Nation students are killing each other. Oh, it makes you wonder if we did the right thing dispensing with, with uh, corporal punishment. So what can I do for you, Mrs. Stewart? I'll get right to the point, Mrs. Overbert. Chris did not have mono. He's actually been depressed. His first girlfriend recently broke up with him. Most students are depressed, Mrs. Stewart, one reason or another. Try and get Chris refocused on his education. All this melodrama wastes their precious energy. I suspect it also leads to a lot of that violence. <clears throat> Coach Brody. How are you, Mrs. Stewart? Chris returned to school today, so he'll be at practice. Mrs. Stewart. I was hoping that you could show him a little extra patience until he gets up to speed. You know we've got the annual meet in Republic six weeks away. This team is really important to Chris. With all due respect, ma'am, Chris has missed too many practices now in competition. A track team is only... You can do it. You tell Chris he better bust his butt. Your daddy sees how beautiful you are. Sickest launch party for Dead Risen. I've been trying to beat that sucker 24 7 every night since. Dude, speak English 24 7 every night. Well, see, my mom's doing her night school thing again, so I'm hiding my controllers. I mean, she hides them when she goes out, so I figured, why not hide them from her first? <laughs> She's like tearing up the place, yelling, Camera and Daryl, hand over those video things. And I'm like, Mom, did you figure out where you hid them again? Move on, yo. Do you like she's rubbing my face in it? Dude, she's rubbing your whole head in it. Okay, she's messing with your head, man. I, I, know, just, I know. What do you want with that skank? I mean, she's probably got SEDs now, a like, bunch of them. Dude. Hey, come on. You guys want to chill after practice till my mom gets back? Goes ballistic and rips the box out of the wall? Yeah, sure, whatever. Dude. I said whatever, come on. You'll be continuing with Dr. Bauer, state appointed psychiatrist. Avoiding drugs and alcohol. May I ask why you're forbidden to engage in relations with the opposite sex? I forget to do my homework when I have a boyfriend. Okay, so read these over, especially our rules of conduct. I run a tight ship. Welcome to Fairview Heights, Vanessa. You don't want to get caught with that out here. They're going to expel me on my first day. Wow, sassy. Nah, they'll just make you attend Mr. Gershom's tobacco diversion class. Believe me, that is way, way worse. I'll show you where you can smoke. No, I'm good. Here. OK. OK. Where are you from, transfer? Here, there. I've moved around a lot. My dad was in the Army. Well, I'm Jake. Vanessa. Vanessa? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do you say you and me go? 
Let's go for a school tour, huh? Oh, look what you just made me do. Uh, I'll get it. No, I'll you... do it. I'll do it. I said I'll do it. Okay. okay I'll be right back. You guys go ahead. I'll be right back. We need to go psycho. You okay? Uh, <laughs> you look like you could use some help. Yeah. He wouldn't stop hitting on me. Yeah, that sounds like Jake. So Thank you. All... That yeah, was no, really course. sweet of, of you. Of course. Right. Sweet and sexy. Hi. Hi. You're not so bad yourself. Sorry, I, I wasn't hey, looking. Hey, that's what they're there for. <laughs> <laughs> you don't usually see anyone transfer midterm. I know, my parents decided to move. They didn't even ask me, middle of my senior year. Well, uh, um, I could show you around if, if you want. Uh, you probably have a boyfriend for that. I'm only a junior, actually, so. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Really? <laughs> but that'd be easy for you. So, not that you're easy, I was just, I just meant that that would pro that'd probably be easy for you to get a, a, a guy. I start here tomorrow. I go to this school. Awesome. Um, yeah, I've got a bounce, but I'll see you around, okay? Hey, funny guy. Any idea where I can find a tour guide around here? Yeah. Yeah, no, I have practice, so um, as soon as that's over. Oh, um, never mind. It's okay. No, 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 I want to. I really want to. It's just that um, I've, I've been sick, and I've missed a bunch of practices, and um, my coach would... Who cares? I'm Chris. Chris Stewart. <laughs> Vanessa. Redland, two ends. <laughs> you stay right here. I have to get rid of these clothes. But you, you wait right here. I'll be right back. OK. okay. I'll stay right here. I'm not going to move. You, you can move. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> this door. And so then Jake's lawyer dad meets with the superintendent of the schools, and they just, um, they overrule Overbird. And the next thing we know, Jake's back in class, gets caught selling weed to freshmen. <laughs> He's an idiot. You see that cigarette that he has over his ear all the time? Like it impresses anybody. Doesn't, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, I, um, your turn. Hey, what does that taste like? Like vanilla always tastes. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Bland. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you have it everywhere. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> With any of the guys in Fairview. Just saying. <laughs> Did you get in trouble for missing practice? Uh, Cam will cover for me. He's my best friend. But him and Matt are my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you, Vanessa. But you have a girlfriend? No, no, I I'm girl free. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gay or anything. Not that I have anything <laughs> against gay guys. I had a girlfriend, Cheryl, kind of. Dumped me. Well, Cheryl is really stupid. If I was her, I'd never let you go. <laughs> oh, crap. I got a piece for dinner. Right now? Yeah. I'm sorry. Can I walk you home? No, I'm good. I'm fine. OK. Um, OK. I'll, I'll see you at school, I guess. Yeah, I'll see you at school. Okay, I'll see you at school. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Feeling better. Mom, you will never guess what happened today. I met the coolest girl. Really? Her name is Vanessa. She just started at my school. She's so cool and down to earth. 
Oh, ow, ouch. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a nick. Who could that be? Probably just selling something. I'll go check. Oh. I thought you were I'm locked out. <laughs> How did you know where I live? Who is it, Chris? Hi, I'm Vanessa Redlin, Mrs. Stewart. I forgot my key, and my parents are working late, so I was just about to ask Chris if maybe I could wait here. She's the one I told you about. Oh. Well, of course. We were just sitting down to dinner. Would you like to join us? <laughs> um, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> Come on in. When did I tell you that? I don't know why, but she seems to genuinely like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're eating. Two for one day, bravo. Man, we had pizza yesterday. Yeah, you always want pizza. <laughs> Where do you see her? This kind of girl doesn't usually even talk to us. Actually. Yeah, yes. Chris. Hey. Hi. You must be Cam and Matt. I'm, I'm Matt, right? The Chris's good looking friend. This geek here is Cam. Two for one. Cam. Pizza. Two, two, two for one pizza at Bravo's. That sounds awesome, Cam. I'm starving. <laughs> hey, I hope hey. you don't mind me crashing. Of course not. Crash away, please. Dead. <laughs> they're funny. No, they're hilarious. They're idiots, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. They're racing to school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll meet you here after your last period. Um, no, I, I can't miss practice, actually. Was that her? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I don't do jealousy. Okay. All right, I have a makeup test this period. I get, okay, go. Yeah, I actually have to finish something, so. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming with me. All right, bye. I'll see ya. Stay away from Chris. Excuse me? You heard what I said. You had your chance with him. Did you forget to finish getting dressed? If I see you near him one more time, I'm gonna smash a lead pipe in your face. Hello, Tina speaking. Vanessa Redmond? No, I've never heard of her. I just found this phone on the street. He's different. I think you'd really like him. <laughs> His name is Chris. I miss you, Mom. Been, Vanessa? Mohan shipped me off to Fairview. I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I got cops calling up my ass. Asking me a lot of questions about Kale. What kind of questions? I know he was gonna do it, where to get the dust. Kale's mother told the cops it was me. Lou, chill out, okay? This whole thing is gonna blow over. Mohan said that the cops don't know anything. Uh, I gotta get that bus, okay? Later. First day. Ugh, I am so ready to get out of here. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I have track practice, remember? Oh. Okay, well, I guess I'll be seeing you.
You don't mind? <laughs> Where did you get all these? Um, I cut myself sometimes. Why? I don't know. It feels good. It feels good to cut yourself? It distracts me from other things, kind of. It's getting pretty late. We should probably... <laughs> Dude, I was totally kidding. I fell through a plate glass window last summer playing tag with my little brother, Kale. That's not funny. <laughs> you can't... <laughs> You can't do that. <laughs> I thought you were crazy. Let's go. All right, I'll walk you home. <laughs> no, Lynn, it's not like that. Chris knew he had a dentist appointment. But he's a 16-year-old boy, Maddie. Cut him some slack. So is it tough being a foster kid? It is what it is. I don't feel sorry for myself. What happened to your real parents? Well, I never knew my real dad. And my mom couldn't afford to pay for two kids. So I was the oldest. She decided to keep Kale and give me up. At 16? No, at 10. Huh? I thought you said you were playing tag with Kale last summer. <laughs> Not Kale. Kyle. My little foster brother, Kyle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm that way. <laughs> I'm this way. <laughs> OK. I'll see you at school. Absolutely. It's not Vanessa's fault her foster parents are dicks, Mom. Please, it's just for one night. I didn't even realize Vanessa lived with a foster family. Never mind. Still, that they'd lock you out is beyond me. Don't they watch the news? I doubt it. They're way old. They go to bed right after dinner. They only took me in so that the state would pay for their grocery bill. I guess I'll make up the spare room.
You awake? Hey. Are you awake? Yeah. I am. What's up? I had a nightmare. Can I sleep here? She's there every couple of nights. You need to put your foot down. I've tried. Believe me, but I get distracted. And the next thing I know, Chris is there, saying she's locked out and has nowhere else to go. Maddie, your house is not a hostel. Why do you let these two kids push you around just like you let Steve? Hey. At least talk to the foster parents. <laughs> Was I okay? I just died and went to heaven. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what it would be like to die? I brought that on. I thought you said I was good. I mean it. I used to feel pretty bad when my dad came home drunk and shoved my mom around. I thought about dying sometimes. Not really, but just to get away, you know? My dad's a great guy, he just... He can't handle alcohol. What about you? I'm scared of living alone. Hey. You're not alone. What's your piece? Relax. Chris? What? Can't you knock? Why aren't you in school? I had that English essay that I needed to finish. And you, Vanessa? I wasn't feeling well this morning. Well, then you should have stayed in bed. In your bed. Chris, go put the groceries away. Chris and I don't usually entertain in our bedrooms. That's what the living room is for. Yeah, well, she doesn't have to be so mean and bossy. Why do you always listen to her? Because she's my mother, Vanessa. At least you have one. Chris, it's three o'clock in the morning. Mom, I got it under control. Vanessa's not tired yet. Uh, Vanessa, Mom. Chris needs to get up for school, Stop. so it's time to go to sleep. Stop. Are you kidding me? Jeez. 
Chris. M Ma! Good night. Bye, Mom. Thanks for making my sandwich. You treat me like I'm a little boy. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm 16. I could run away. I could live with Dad. Chris, I apologize if Count you Count me out for dinner. Well, what time will you be home? Stop trying to control my life, Mom. Madeline Stewart, Chris's mom? The boy that Vanessa's been seeing, didn't she tell you? For about a month now. I thought I'd just call to say hello. I understand Vanessa's been with you since she was a little girl. I don't follow. How recently? Hey, cutie. Hey, babe. Where are you running to? Making up another test. English. Oh, skip it. Come celebrate my new job with me. I can't, babe. Wait, you got it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could make it worth your while. Three creams, two sugars. Memory like an elephant. Shall we sit? Yeah. 96 days without a drink. That's great, Steve. Good for you. So what's the crisis, Maddie? I'm having a hellish morning. My EA is sick. I need you to look into Chris's new girlfriend, Vanessa Redman. <laughs> you serious? Maddie, it's normal for boys this age to pull away from their mothers. Young girls are a, a pretty powerful hook. I am serious, and I need you to take it seriously, too. She is disturbed. Disturbed? The girl is monopolizing Vanessa's us. whole life is a fabrication. Everything she's told Chris is a bunch of lies. I had a long talk with her foster mother this morning. That's why I called you. Vanessa told Chris and I that she's been with this foster family since she was a 10-year-old. This family met her one month ago. Same day Chris and I did. She's some emergency placement from another district. Well, teenage girls are drama queens. Maybe she thought she sounded better if she had a stable family life. Does she sound better inventing a little brother named Kale? Someone who supposedly lives with her real mother? And her mother's dead. Do these foster parents feel we have anything to worry about? That's it. Other than what I've told you, they know nothing about her. They just get a bunch of red tape when they try to find her file. Leave it with me. You're a good mother, Maddie. Look this way. Yeah. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay. Big smiles, okay? Guys, over here. Look. I really gotta go, babe. Okay, just ten minutes, okay? I know I was gonna kill me. <laughs> so this is where I work. <laughs> Sit. All right. I have a surprise for you. Hmm. Here. Where'd you get it? My foster dad's liquor cabinet. What's your problem, dude? I don't drink. Okay. I told you about my dad. Stuff like that can be hereditary. Do you think you could break your rule for one night? No. Please. No, babe. <laughs> Here we go. 
gonna be fun. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> I feel so good right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that? They'll see. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's a smell. It's just a smell. <laughs> Cut yourself? Give me your thumb. <laughs> Ow! What'd you do that for? Your life's blood flows through my veins. For all time, we will remain. Like a vice that cannot bend You and me until The end That's pretty What is it? It's a lullaby that my mom used to sing to me We used to sing it together Love me till you die, my love. Never leave my side. Now we're eternally bonded. It's beautiful. It was my dad's. He died when I was really young. <laughs> I want you to have it. You're not gonna be sad anymore. I was worried sick. Are you drunk? No. Mm -mm. I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna barf. Chris, you know what alcohol has done to this family. I hope you learned your lesson. I don't want you seeing Vanessa anymore. You can't do that. I'm 16. Besides, it wasn't even Vanessa who got me drunk. It was Matt and some other guys. Well, you're not going out tonight. It's not optional. Is that a wedding ring you're wearing? No. It was Vanessa's father's. And she gave it to you? Christopher, you don't Love even to know yak, her. Mom, but I'm going to be late. Yo, lover boy. Hey guys, I've been calling you all week. Leaving messages, man. You should see yourself. You look like crap. Listen, bro, um, I really need to see your science notes again. Chapters 8 to 10. Go ask your girlfriend. Oh, hey, the coach told us to pass on the message. It's one more practice, man. You're off the team. Stretch it out now, ladies. One, One two, two, three, four, five. 
Well, well, well. Thought you'd drop by for a visit there, Stuart. What do you say, fellas? Stuart here decided to honor us with his presence. Must be some kind of special holiday, huh? What are you, Santa Claus? <laughs> Easter Bunny? <laughs> no, sir. We got a meet in eight days, son. Now, this team's been working hard. I'm ready to bust my ass, coach. Well, let's see if you can still run that 440. Oh. So, make it up to me now. <laughs> okay, maybe I will. Let's see what you got. What do you got? Are you challenging me? That's a total challenge. <laughs> What's going on, Vanessa? Oh, hey, Chris. You know Jake, right? I need to talk to you. Come here. What was that about? It was nothing. You're hanging out with Jake Reardon and it's nothing? Jake really loves animals. <laughs> He wants to come and check out the pet shop tonight. I mean, you can't make it. Vanessa, if I blow off this practice, I'm off the team. All right, I come with you every night instead of doing homework. I skip class to be with you. I'm failing science. Do what you want. for my running. <coughs> Not that it matters anymore. <laughs> you could do anything to make me happy. I got kicked off the track team for you. Is that not enough proof? <laughs> it was open. What are you doing here so late? You found something out? Her real name was Vanessa Lynn Redman. Redlin was her mother's stage name. Her mother was a dancer, a good one. Sonia Lynn Redman. Uh, married an American, immigrated from Europe, and had Vanessa. Unfortunately, Sonia suffered from something called delusional disorder. And Vanessa's father eventually walked out on them. Sonia committed suicide. Vanessa was six and was put into the system. That poor little girl. Maybe. But your instincts were bang on. I did some digging. Guy I know works in mental health, and according to him, Vanessa suffers from similar issues to her mother. She's got some sort of death obsession. Is convinced that she can communicate with her dead mother. She's also a pathological liar. In the past 12 years, she's been through nine different foster homes all over the state. There's something else. There was a teenage boy in Vanessa's last home. Star soccer player, grade A student. His name was Cale Davis. Our imaginary little brother's name. Vanessa got involved with Cale shortly after she went to live with the Davises. Six weeks later, he committed suicide. Chris? Hey, Dad. What's going on? Can you come in here and sit down for a second, please? Yeah. What are you doing here? Your mom and I have something we need to tell you. Are you guys getting back together? It's about Vanessa, Chris. being totally depressed. I wasn't gonna lay that down or stuff on you. Do you get it? Yes, I get it. 
What are you doing? I, I promised I'd give this back. They were freaking out, Vanessa. We can still have lunch together. Why the long face, beautiful girl? Oh. Hey, Jake. Is your boyfriend not taking care of you? What boyfriend? Now, I bet that I can put a smile on that pretty face. <laughs> you look like you could use a friend. You wanna go for a walk? Sure. What's his deal anyway, you know? So she's hot, right? You don't get yourself kicked off this whole track team over some girl. Dude, I don't oh. know. I don't know. Maybe it's his folks breaking up. Yeah, I mean, true. Chris has his head so far up his butt these days. Yeah. Hold on. Is that what it is? <laughs> Let's get in here. Chris is gonna blow a gasket. Tell me about it. I was out of line. Save it. Chris was the only person to talk to me when I moved here. I know it was stupid, but I was just being territorial. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You're gorgeous. I felt threatened. You don't know what it's like being shipped around the state, foster home to foster home, having to switch schools. I don't care. <sighs> Do you feel like kidding me? Hit me. That's how we settled things at my other school. For the record, I think Chris is a dick, too. You're crazy. I'm Cheryl. I know, Vanessa. See ya. I bet it's so hard being a cheerleader. Oh, it's really fun. You guys are so good. How do you learn routines like that? Uh, I don't know. You just practice. You know what? It's a shame it's your last year because you were pretty good. <laughs> Vanessa? Are you there? Come on, put on your video. I looked for you everywhere at lunch, after school, too. Vanessa. Come on, don't be like this. Talk to me. <sighs> Vanessa, you know I love you. Come here. Babe, where were you? I want to 
gonna kill myself. Don't say that. What's wrong? I just can't take it anymore. I always end up alone. You're not alone, babe. Where, where are you? The kennel? I'm on my way, babe, alright? I'm on my way. No, Chris, don't come here. Don't ever come here, please. I got here as fast as I could. What happened? I can't tell you. Hey, whatever you say is okay. You said we were just going for a walk. Who? Who just wanted to go for a walk? Jake. Jake? Did, did it do something to you? Did Jake hurt you? I said we were just gonna go to the ravine and talk. Nobody even helped me. That's it, I'm calling the cops. No, don't tell anybody. No, if Jake hurt you, he can't get no, away with it. No, give it, it to me, okay? Don't you understand? You'll never see me again. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I said, I just want to help you. You can't help me, Chris, okay? Because you don't get it. You have a perfect life and a perfect mom. I have nothing. I have nothing. Do you love me, Chris? Roll it, babe. Chris? I think I require more alcohol. Yes. 
so hot right now. My face feels Face. In the three, babe. Uh huh. You know how mm. you asked me if I still needed poo? What? What? I think I know. <laughs> you need to prove it Let's get you out. Let's get you changed, okay? Mm. You're gonna come with me. Let's let's go. Let's go. It's not a change. It's not the right time. Mm. Come on. It's not. I'm coming. Mrs. Stewart. Where is he? Chris? He's in the back. We're we're just hanging out. I've been knocking for five minutes. Mom. Calm it down. I don't know. I'm good here. Get up. We're going home. Oh, come on, come right on. now. Mom. Come on. Mom. Here we go. Oh, you piece. Oh, baby. Let's uh, behave, Vanessa. Mom, I'm going to stay here with my girlfriend, okay? Vanessa. Chris. Hey. Chris! Chris! It was unbelievable. She stood there challenging me. Steve answered his phone at night. It's not his fault, Lynn. He's on a flight to St. Lucia. Doesn't even know. I'll call you back. There's somebody at my door. Good morning. Hello. Detective Harcroft, ma'am. I'm looking for Chris Stewart. I'm his mother. What's this about? I need Chris to come with me and make a statement regarding Vanessa Redland. Chris is no longer involved with Vanessa. You still got to come with me, ma'am. Vanessa has accused your son of rape and battery. You're not listening. She incapacitated him. She's tried to stop me from taking him home. Does that sound like rape? I'm going to ask you again, Chris. If you didn't assault Vanessa, how did she get those scratches? I don't remember any scratches. Vanessa called me, she was crying. She needed help, so I went to the pet store. She had already closed it down. So we drank and talked, and that's it. I don't remember anything else. It's a hell of a story, Chris. <laughs> Vanessa gets raped, and you get amnesia. You want my version? I think you stopped by the pet shop hoping to get Vanessa back after she dumped you for Jake. No. And maybe she threw him up in your face. And it was like Cheryl all over again. And you were humiliated, Chris. So you forced her to have sex with you, and now you're trying to pin it on Jake That's Reardon. That's not how it happened. Yes. Chris, your best friends, Matt Vernon and Cam Lowell, are prepared to provide statements back in Vanessa's claim that she dumped you for Jake. Do not say anything, sweetheart. Yeah. Got it. It might be time to take me up on that offer and get your boy a lawyer. The clinic confirms semen in Miss Redland. We're gonna need a swab from Chris. And ma'am, 
For the time being, he's to refrain from talking about this matter at school with anyone. Miss Redland's been given the same order. Everything was fine, and then it's like he switched into a different person, you know. And he had like this look in his eye that I just ah, uh, I'm sorry, it's just hard, you know. Like, I never thought he would do something like this. Like, the bastard had me face down on the floor getting his rocks off, and then I have to relive the story for this cop who says, Don't tell anyone. He was planning on doing nothing. Hey, you guys didn't say a bunch of crap about me and Vanessa to the cops, did you? We're late, man. We should probably get to class. Cam, we've been best friends since kindergarten. What am I supposed to believe, Chris? You're supposed to believe me. Dude, our parents think it'd be best if we just play it cool until this thing sorts itself out. Sorry. Cam. Are we breathing or swearing? Who is this? That is a bald-faced lie. something you can do I've already spoken with Vanessa she maintained she is not involved in any smear campaign against Chris can't you just track their email back to their IP addresses get their names you know she's behind this right she broke her gag order can't you at least talk to her You're a nasty drunk, Chris. Vanessa, I can't remember anything. But I know I wouldn't have hurt you. No, you just raped me. Why are you telling people that? We were a couple. I didn't have to rape you. Besides, I didn't even know about you and Jake until today. You made it sound like he had hurt you. You were the one who hurt me. Why won't you at least admit it to me? Why, why would I do that? I loved you. Because you're just like your father. Oh, God. I must have blacked out. I, I didn't, did I? Please, Vanessa. It was partly my fault. You warned me and I gave you all that alcohol. You were so mad about Jake. I feel sick. Oh, 
Could I? I know, baby. You didn't mean it. Hey, I'm gonna go for a walk, okay? Chris, honey. Come here. What is it? What if I did rape her? You didn't. I can't remember. I was hammered. You didn't rape her. I mean, you don't know. You weren't there. I could be just like, just like that. A violent drunk. You wouldn't even love me. Sweetheart, I know you better than anyone on this planet. You are not capable of such violence. Hello, who is this? It's Detective Harcroft, ma'am. Sorry, Detective, we've had crank calls. I see. I wanted to let you know that the semen analysis matched Chris. However, it also confirmed a non-match. Sorry, a non-match? That means Chris's story might hold water. Vanessa stated she didn't have sex yesterday other than your son's alleged rape. She's obviously lying. I thought you'd want to know that. I did. I do. Thank you, Detective. You're welcome. I ran a medical check on her files, but they're sealed. I did some intel on her caseworker, a guy by the name of uh, Don Mohan, but no luck. I'm still investigating. I'll be in touch. Okay, thank you. Hello? Yes, this is Madeline Stewart. What? what? Oh, okay, Mercy Hospital Emergency. I'm on my way. Hey, besides his knee and some bruising on his ribs and his abdomen, he looks good. I'd like to keep him for another night, just to make sure there's no signs of internal hemorrhaging. He's lucky the guy was walking his dog. Chris, Mrs. Stewart, I'm Officer Tate. I'd like to ask Chris a few questions, if that's okay with you both. Sure. Yeah. Great. Can you tell me what happened last night? I was just going out for a walk to clear my head. Did you know any of the individuals involved, or were they strangers? No, I'd never seen any of them. They were wearing hoods, and I just booked it. Okay. Would you recognize any of them from a photograph? No, I didn't see their faces at all. Okay, thanks, Chris. That's enough for now, but I will be in touch, all right? I thank you both for your time. Have a great day. Mom, stop, it's fine, stop. Close for the night. This is Stuart. 
I didn't know you had a pet. Don't mess with me. Your thug friends touch another hair on Chris's head. I'd be really careful making threats. I'm still a minor. So you haven't spoken to or tried to get in contact with Chris in any way? No, not since that night. I mean, why would I? Hmm. Nice phone. It has video, right? Yeah, but the resolution sucks. <laughs> Do you happen to have any bills handy, say, from the past month or two? <laughs> I don't usually keep my cell phone bills, but I know how to access it. I think I can find what I'm looking for. See yourself. My battery's fried. Is it? I'm getting a new one if you want to come back. Next time, I'll have a warrant. Whoa, look at you. I thought you deserved a treat. I feel so bad that you were on your way to see me. Who were those guys? Hell if I know. Cops said they were probably casing the neighborhood. Of course, my mom no doubt thinks you were behind it. I miss being with you, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. Well, I could come climb in your window right now. <laughs> I lied to my first cop last night. You didn't lie. You just left out where you were going. I miss you. Really bad. God, I need to see you. Hi, I, I'm, I'm looking for the number of a Donald Mohan in Child Social Services. Yes, Vanessa. My son Chris met her at school. They got involved. Does your son still see Vanessa? No, but his life has gotten out of control since he tried to end it. I don't even know where to begin, but I am afraid of what Vanessa may be capable of. Forgive me, but I am not at liberty to discuss Vanessa's history with you. Mr. Mohan, Chris was depressed when he met Vanessa. He's not coping well. I can't protect him if I have no idea what may come. Jessica was one of Vanessa's foster mothers, and Marjorie was a neighbor of another one. Good day to you, Mrs. Stewart. Hi. Hi. I'm Maddie. I just spoke to your mom. He looks so much like Chris. Kale had such a bright future. Vanessa stole it. Played mind games with him. Purposely made him jealous. Told people Kale had done things he hadn't. I begged Kale to end the relationship, but Vanessa always managed to convince him that I didn't understand her. Or made him feel guilty because she didn't have a mother. Kale started doing drugs with Vanessa. Could barely remember his name some days. Coroner said he was full of PCP when he hung himself. This ring. This ring that Kale's wearing. Vanessa gave it to Kale when he turned 16. She, she said it was her father's. 
He didn't have it when he was buried? No, he wasn't wearing it when they found him. How could you know that? Because Vanessa gave Chris the same ring. Donald Mohan gave me your name. I listened to your message. I can't talk to you. Marjorie, it's important. Anything you can tell me. I didn't know her. It was my son. Maybe I could talk to your son. Randy killed himself two years ago. He overdosed on angel dust. Did Vanessa ever give Randy a ring? I can't talk about Randy. I have to go. Did Vanessa ever give Randy a silver ring with a red stone? A silver wedding band with a red stone? Yes. Answer the phone, Chris, please, sweetheart. Answer the phone. Send a cart immediately to my house. 1381 Blue Ridge Road. My son's in terrible danger. Please, do you hear me? Blue Ridge Road. Is my son all right? And nobody answered the phone or the door. I checked the perimeter. There's no sign of a break-in. I could do a walkthrough to be safe. Chris? Chris? Ma'am, I should go first. Chris, you here? Oh, God. We're too late. She drugs them with PCP. They don't know what they're doing. We just need to establish how long Chris has been gone. Uh, it would have been after 2, 2.30. That's when I left for lunch. Up to three hours ago. It's OK. We don't know if they left right away. Do you know where they would have gone? Uh, Vanessa works at a pet store. It's called Groom and Board. It's on East Brighton. Got it. I'll come with you. No, Officer Brooks will stay here with you. But I know exactly where it is. Trust me, they may come back. I can't be too long, OK? An hour, tops. Hey, look at all the stuff I got for our picnic. Is something wrong? I forgot our sandwiches and cookies. <laughs> Uh. Sounded like life or death. I'm not too hungry anyway. I came here to see you. Not a sandwich. Okay. Cherry soda. Alcohol free. Vanessa, I get why you did all that stuff. All the kids calling and emailing. Jake. I know I deserved it. I can't ever drink again. Let's just find a nice place to sit down and drink this, OK? okay. <laughs> I'm Madeline Stewart at 1381 Blue Ridge Road. Um, you picked up my son today. I need to know where you took him. It, it would have been about 2.30 or later. He was on crutches. P please, my son is in grave danger. Whitefall Park? Whitefall Park. Oh, come on, Chris. Officer Brooks? Officer Brooks? Lynn, okay, look, just, just call the police and get a hold of Officer Jan Tate. I, I, I can't tell you. Just, just do it, please. Hurry, tell her that Maddie's on her way to Whitefall Park. Uh, you're empty again. You'd be cool to fly, huh? I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Jeez. Look at him. He's above a tree. <laughs> I think I know how you can prove your love. If you love me, you have to understand me. This is what I do. Here, check it. <laughs> Come on, take it. Anything. I'll do it again, baby. Come on. <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> I have to take this. Oh, you're doing so good. <gasps> uh, I can't believe it doesn't hurt. You're doing so good. How do you believe I love you? Chris, you are not gonna die. Oh, 
So your dad's wedding is next weekend? Yeah, we were actually just talking about it yesterday. He said I could bring Matt and Cam if I wanted to. Hmm. Are you going to go? No. But you'll have fun. I love you, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Lunchtime. Not hungry today, Vanessa? Ooh. Sorry about that. Why don't you take a break, Mark? You probably spilled that juice because you've been working too hard. Maybe for a minute. Is that you? Yep. Me and my mommy. And daddy. When daddy was sweet. Your life's blood 